right, guys. Today, my brother will be walking us through his 55-gallon Mbuna tank. I think you'll really enjoy this tank. It's definitely a lot different than the other ones we've shown so far. As always, feel free to like and subscribe down below, and I hope you enjoy the video. Here we have our one African tank. It's a 55-gallon Mbuna tank. It has about a dozen Mbuna, with the one outlier being a Trophius du Boise uh, from Lake, Lake Tinkanika. All the other Mbuna are from Lake Malawi. Uh, as you can see, the scape is a hard scape, nothing but rocks. Um, no live plants, no fake plants, nothing. This is the closest thing to their habitat in Lake Malawi. So uh, this is what they like. Lots of caves, lots of tunnels, um, and they like to dig around them. So uh, it's good to rearrange the rocks once in a while with uh, territorial displays and everything, giving them new tunnels, new caves, new rocks, and territories to uh, claim every once in a while is good. So there's not one fish dominating, you know, the prime spots every time. Give them a chance to switch it up and not pick on one fish or two fish too often. Um, as far as the types of fish we have in here, we have three uh, electric blue johani. We have uh, bumblebee cichlid. I'll zoom in on these here. Here's the bumblebee. He's probably the biggest in the tank. These fish are a lot harder to capture individually than the American cichlid tanks we have. Um, here's the Johani. There's two there and the third right up there. Uh, as you can see, we have two red cherries. Those are the orange ones there. Um, one of our newer additions is this uh, OB uh, Labiotrophius uh, Trewavase. Um, I just really love this guy. It's a male. It's going to color up nicely. Uh, down here we have this little skittish guy with the stripes is one of my next favorites it's a uh, elongated chelosi um, still a young guy it's a male still coloring up um, it's gonna look really nice whenever it's full grown here got this yellow guy out of the assorted amuna tank uh, thinking it was a electric yellow but it has still not grown a black stripe on its fins, so that's kind of yet to be seen. We'll see. It could be a number of other things uh, that we can figure out as it grows. Um, here, this interesting guy is kind of rare, is a giant demasoni. It's kind of uh, demasoni uh, without all the aggression issues. This guy's much more docile than uh, demasoni is. So, uh, normal demasoni might have a little better color. This guy usually has a little better color too, but demasoni are typically very aggressive and you can only have basically one or a dozen of them in there to spread out the aggression. And even then they might be coming after your other fish. Um, other than that, we have two yellowtail easy eyes in there they like to swim around and there's the trophius de boise right there he's gonna be a really interesting guy when he grows up got his yellow stripe and blue face coloring in losing his juvenile uh black body with white spots so that's about it for the species lineup um as for filtration we have two hang on the backs right there and right there. This is a AquaClear 110. This is an AquaClear 70. 
Uh, we will get more into that in future videos. To help out with filtration, we have two wave makers right here. We have, this one's a, uh, I believe it's a Aqua Coralia. This one right here is a Sun Sun. I mainly use them for more surface agitation. So as you can see, we got pretty good surface agitation going on, which uh, really helps oxygenate a tank without plants. Um, I've had a few dead spots here and there, which is why I went with multiple uh, filters to try to stop the dead spots. Um, so yeah, the, the main feature of the tank is the uh, do-it-yourself um, fish tank hood, which as you can see here, we had this made custom. We have the lighting underneath here, with which is the uh, current satellite plus LED, blue and white lights. Pretty cool. I think it really gives a good look to the tank with the top like that. Um, really covers up the equipment, muffles any noise, things like that. So uh, that will conclude our intro video to this tank. Um, there will be plenty more informational videos about this tank, including how to make a custom canopy top. Um, and uh, how I went really cheap with um, my equipment and what you can do yourself. So um, that's it. As always, please like and subscribe. See you next time.